Hello to the people, my name is Robert and in this video I'll show you how to add Google reCAPTCHA to Elementor forms. This should stop the spam bots from filling your form. To do this you need to have a Google account but otherwise it's super easy to set up. So let's just jump into it. So this is my website and I have a form here, this is a test form and right now if you submit it, it doesn't have any spam detection. To mitigate the risk of getting a lot of spam and stuff like that, let's install reCAPTCHA in our Elementor Pro. So what you need to do is you just go to Google and then type in reCAPTCHA and let's click on the first option and here at the top you just click on the, the V3 admin console. Now I'm already logged into Google so that's why I went here and I already have this set up for my website. So if you don't see this you can always click here to create and you see this page. So if you don't have any recaptures be from before, then you would see this page and now we can add our label. So in this case, it's going to be punch salad test. Then we need to choose if we want to have recapture version three or version two. I would use the version three because it's a bit more hidden and they rely on this score. Whereas with version two, it's the one where you need to select challenges. So like uh, select a car or things like that. You can play around which one you want to use. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use the latest version. So version three. And now I need to add the domains. In my case, it's punchsalad.com. And you would just add the domains you need here. If you have staging or testing sites, add them here. Otherwise, this will not work. And here it's promoting the Google Cloud Platform for enterprises, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to use this one like this. So we're going to submit it. And now it gives these keys. And these are super important because now we can copy these keys. So I'm going to copy the site key and I'm going to head to my website. And in my WordPress dashboard, I'll just scroll down and hover over Elementor and here we have settings. In the settings, we just need to click on integrations and here you see you have reCAPTCHA, which is the version two and then version three is here. So now I'm going to paste the side key here like this and then go back to reCAPTCHA and copy the secret key. Do not show your keys like this to anybody because if they have that, they can just use your reCAPTCHA and then you don't want that. So going back, adding the secret key here and here we can set a threshold. Now, where you should set the threshold, that's a bit up to you how much risk you want to take. So you could say the risk score is 0.3 or lower, then you basically block that user. You're not going to let them finish this. What you can do is start with something and then in a week or two, look at your reCAPTCHA admin panel and then you see what kind of a risk score you have. Later on, once you start using reCAPTCHA and, and people using your site with your form, you'll start seeing data like this. And you can see that most of our the score distribution is in point 0.9, which is good. This means they are real users. And then I have here some in point 0.1 and point 0.3. So you could set your threshold to point 0.4 and then everything below that would uh, fall into spam. So this is really up to you how you want to adjust this. You could also say, oh, I really want to have people in point eight, but you don't want to make it too strict because then uh, some people that are real people are going to just not be able to submit the form. So once we've added the site key and secret key, now we can go to the form, but inside Elementor. So you can see that I have the same form here that I showed you earlier. Here under form fields, we can add a new item. In this case, it's going to be reCAPTCHA v3. You actually don't see much. You only see that this appeared here. All right, let's update this. And then if I go to my page and refresh it, you can see that reCAPTCHA appears here. Now, if you want to test it even more, what you can do is grab this URL and then you go to the incognito window, open up your page and fill in your the form and then see if it complains at all. Again, the best way to see detected that it's this one. Now, what if you don't like this logo and you want to get rid of it? Actually, it's quite easy. Uh, let's close this one and let's head back to Elementor. So first of all, uh, we need to go to this uh, web page. This is Stack Overflow where you get all kinds of answers to your coding questions, but we don't need to know how to code. I'll show you how to do this. So basically what we need to do is grab this text because Google allows you to hide the badge, but you need to make sure that there's uh, this text so that they, people are aware that there's a reCAPTCHA. So to do that, let's go to our form and underneath, I'm just going to add a new text field. 
So I'm going to look text. So I'm going to grab this text editor like this. And now from here, we can copy this text and come back. I'm going to now, instead of the visual, I'm going to choose the text, remove this, whatever it was and add what uh, they're suggesting. And then if you need to style it, you can just go back to visual and here you could style this text to whatever you need. And then obviously update this page. And the second step you need to do is add some custom CSS and that we can do in the advanced tab. You scroll down, you have custom CSS here. You see it here. Now we go back to this article and we grab uh, this part. So we copy it and go back to Elementor placed like this. And one thing I like to add, it's not best practice, but it gets the job done. We just add here exclamation mark important like this. So you write it hidden exclamation mark important and then you have the semicolon here. And then click on update. Now, if you know any of the CSS, you're maybe wondering why are we not just doing display none? If we do that, then the recapture just will not work. Okay, cool. So now when I go to my page, it just refreshed. You see the text appears and no more logo. It's somewhere there, but it's just hidden. So you got rid of your spam now, but without a professional looking website, it's going to be hard to get traffic. This is why I created this video where I share my tips to make your website look 10 times more professional.